Hey guys, this is Mark Gabrielski, and uh, what I'm looking at today is how to configure a serial connection to my uh, any serial device, but specifically in this case, it's for the Lantronic Spider uh, and the HP Switch. So one of the things I wanted to do is I have some settings here saved for that, and uh, my Lantronic Spider runs at 9600, my HP Switch runs at 38400. Uh, the other place I have to make some adjustments to these settings to make these serial devices work is here, and uh, that's documented in the presentation as well, how to configure that. So today I'm just using the Lantronic Spider as the example, and I'm going to go ahead and load that up. So the reason I'm using a PuTTY is because PuTTY um, supports serial connections, and for those of you who were accustomed to Hyperterm in uh, Windows XP, uh, Hyperterm is no longer distributed, so uh, you could go out and copy a couple of files from your Windows uh, XP machine uh, over to your Windows 7 and still continue to use Hyperterminal. Um, or you can just go ahead and use PuTTY to go ahead and make that same, uh, same terminal-based connection. Um, so I'm a big fan, since most of us have PuTTY on our desktop, manage our uh, Linux and ESXi hosts, as well as some switches out there over the network on SSH seems like a pretty good tool to use natively. Um, so uh, something you haven't, you can't see in the YouTube video is I just applied power a few minutes, a few seconds ago to the Lantronic Spider. And I do have the serial connection configured. Um, so since most laptops today don't necessarily come with serial ports, what I actually have is a USB to serial adapter. And uh, I've got that connected to the Lantronics serial port. Um, so now that I have this, uh, this is the Lantronics booting up. It took, takes about a minute to boot up, and since I want to give it a uh, static IP, uh, I have to go out and type config. And this, guys, in case you're wondering, this is right out of the box, so there's uh, nothing unique here. Uh, I took it out of the box when I received it, and I'm uh, actually just giving it an IP address on my home network. And this is how you would set the IP address for the Lantronics device, so that way you can go out and have KVM to your um, ESXi host that we're talking about in this lab. Um, so now that I've gotten that configured, now I can go ahead and plug that into an Ethernet port on the Ethernet interface of the Lantronics. Connect the two USB devices uh, to the uh, USB ports on the uh, ESXi uh, lab server and I would be able to then uh, go ahead and manage this device uh, and get KVM access including virtual media. Uh, so I'll have another video just kind of showing the initial connection uh, to the Lantronics Spider. So hope this helps you uh, get the uh, initial environment configured.